previously on Turtle Crossing. We had only been living aboard for a little under a week when our first rainstorm hit, and it rained a whole lot. Our first job was to replace a deck fitting that leaked into our son's quarter berth. The first replacement part we found was all wrong. It took us almost a week to track down the right one and finally complete a task that should have been very easy. And now, on to the next important project. Installing the bilge pump. Hey, my name is Sarah, and this is my husband Christopher. Join us as we begin the adventure of a lifetime with our son William aboard our floating home, Mr. Turtle. But Ted Gosser did the same thing to me on the Gosser, <laughs> where you have to take the engine compartment off to look at the bilge. Oh, yeah. I'm able to get in the bilge. No, that's the thing, right? Oh, so this is a little bit different. Okay. No water. We're good. Well, there's water, but there's not as much as there was. If you've been watching us for a while, you may recognize our friend Guillaume. He came to help us with the bilge pump and check out our new boat. So a typical setup would be a manual and a small um, automatic electric bilge pump. Okay. So you can set it up like that, or how I have it is you have manual, you have a smaller one in the bottom of the bilge, and then I have a great big one a little bit higher up. When the, when the, yeah, the shit hits the fan, the small one's not going up, it hits the second one. I've never used the second one. Oh, there's your, there's your fuel pump. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then one coming up and cord coming out the other. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so... Yeah, Maybe yeah. that's why it has the bend. Yep. Yeah. You might have a chance to fit it in there. The switch for the previous bilge pump was mounted outside the battery storage and was in reach of our son, so we needed to brainstorm. How many ideas? There's a bilge one already. Yeah. We're whispering because William is napping. The only thing that was in our ice box was our mustard and berries for William. <laughs> Gotta have priorities. When Chris problem solves, he tends to get very quiet as he puzzles everything through. This is always an exercise in patience for me as I have to be quiet and let him think. Well, I'm not sure I should just get a new one. So I'm removing the old wires the old non-working bilge pump. There's a lot of corrosion that needs to be cleaned off, but I don't have any <laughs> tools right now. So. We still hadn't had a chance to pick up our tools yet from my grandmother's house. I have to do it for the moment. Nice headlamp. Thank you, my wife here. After yet another trip to the marine store, we were back at it. Yeah, so we, we needed a few more things. Can you steal anything from that one? I'm not sure. I might just do uh, everything kind of mocked and then figure it out. So this is positive. So I'll just put it under there. This is negative. I'll put it under there and then I'll run this down to the. But eventually, maybe we'll, we'll add it. Here. But right now we just need it plugged in, like we don't have all the stuff we need to do it properly, but we'll do one thing properly at a time, like get it running and then uh, I gotta make a, a platform for this so that it drops down in and we can pull it back out. Okay. Okay. Right now I just want to wire it properly, then it's easy to extend wire where we need it. Yeah, fair enough. The sound you can hear is someone's halyard smacking against their mast. No shortage of trips to the marine store. No. After working hard all morning, we decided to take a break and go for an adventure to a local brewery called Collective Arts.
was not windy and it was cold when we came back to the boat about like 10 minutes ago and then all of a sudden I could hear like the breeze picking up and it got quite windy but the wind is like muggy and thick so all of a sudden the temperatures completely changed um, and we're getting a lot of swaying on the boat our uh, bimini almost went for a fly it came off a little bit currently Christopher is on bilge pump. How's it going? Good. Just uh, extending these cables because we have to go into such a deep bilge so we can get up and to the battery bank and to the switch and stuff. So, That's what we got today, these? Yeah. And those, so I can make them longer. Okay. We don't have a heat crimp though, do we? Uh, we have a lighter. <laughs> okay. Do it the old fashioned way. Then why do they even bother making the tool for it? Fancy people? I feel like that's not accurate. By the way, you just called all the people who have heat crimps little bitches. They're gonna come after you in the comments. Can't be a surprise to them. This way you, you char the the back connector, so it's black just like the wire. Is that what you're supposed to do? Okay. Well, I guess I'd call it done. Who knew? The people at the heat crimper, they're going to be upset. They've been spending their whole lives making a product that nobody actually needs. I'm gonna go do a little walk around the deck and make sure that we're tied up good and that uh, nothing is loose because I'm starting to feel a little nervous about things flying away since I didn't think anything would and then the bin you tried to. Well, I only have one flip flop. Oh shit. You gotta be kidding me. This is the old uh, belt pump line. We are removing it. We were debating, so we have a few bilge pump lines going through. One's going through the batteries. One's going under the engine. Uh, I think we're gonna go under the engine uh, just in case we wanna update, upgrade our electrical. We still have options for, for batteries. I agree. Um, Unfortunately, this bilge line has to stay here because the pump, the manual pump, is under the stove. Might be able to be replaced with a skinnier line, though, at some point. Yeah. Like yeah. a skinnier tubing. Yeah. Because at some point we might change this to an electric, and uh, then we've got then we free up a lot more space. <laughs> I may need your help uh, in pulling the cockpit right? pulling from that dirty line that I you helped me trace yesterday. Yeah. and downs and I feel like it's going to kink. And then we won't be able to catch it. And then when you no, try to pull it out it might rip something. I just mean like it, if it tries to turn on and it won't pump water because there's... I see what you're saying. I think eventually like I'm seeing like as it's stretched out there like pieces of it are starting to open up so hopefully as it settles and water goes through it it'll round up. We don't really like where the old line was run, uh, so I think we're gonna pull it out, run it through the batteries, uh, like this. This manual bilge pump is run. Like there's spots side to side. Should be able to get all of this. There's no hole there. There may not be a hole there. We have a drill though. And because it's such a skinny one. 
We're doing okay. Yeah. We're trying to figure out how we can get it through the hole that's over here. Um, so we need to cut it bigger with a hole saw. So that's what we're doing right now. Or possibly doing right now. <laughs> Every time we take a step forward, we have to do six other steps. So I guess forget about everything that we just said. We're gonna try and go through under the engine. Ah, uh, he's gonna keep pushing it through. So I'm just waiting here for my turn. I see stuff wiggling though, so I'm gonna try and figure out what I can do to help. I see it. I think a little teeny bit further and either you'd be able to reach it or I would. Good job. I'm gonna try and hook it as well as forward. Hey, uh, keep pulling it just because I, I don't need that much on this end. It's really, it's pretty straight on the other side. Just so you know. But when push comes to shove, I will send a fully armed battalion to remind you of my love. Da 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 So the project came to an end and we had a little bit of fun, a little bit of wine, and we continued to work on more projects as the night went on. But that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. As usual, please subscribe, like, leave a comment. We love to hear from you guys. And uh, check out our merch. We have merch. And that's it. Have a great whatever time of the day it is for you where you are now. <laughs> Bye. Uh -oh.